Wow! What's up, people? Welcome back to the crowdfunding exposure channel. We are here to demystify and explain crowdfunding. We love to talk about crowdfunding. Today I want to get to Kickstarter and really what you can do when it comes to improving your writing for a Kickstarter campaign page. Note, these tips work for Indiegogo and GoFundMe campaigns alike. Let's break this into like a scientific perspective from breaking this down fashion demystifying this perspective what can you do to improve your writing and what do you need to be conscious of in order to have a powerful campaign to launch so let's talk about that today. So let's start to talk about your writing. Whether you're doing a campaign now or in the future, doing a Kickstarter campaign, doing an Indiegogo campaign, I really think that some of the tips I'm going to be sharing today are going to be useful for you so that way you could have a much more powerful campaign launch. It's not just about having tons of people checking out your campaign and it's not just about developing a river of traffic to your campaign. Way that a well-written and distributed press release can trigger and get your campaign to go viral. No, it's not. Just know that launching in the correct way in a step-by-step -step fashion and doing the things required is relevant. When donors show up to your campaign, be it Indiegogo, GoFundMe, or Kickstarter, what do they do? Are you looking for the visitor to take action? They take action, they support your campaign, they back it, they share it with their friends, and so much of that has to do with communication. So, communication is really like teleportation. If you want to think of it in that way because you obviously know if you're filming a pitch video, you're not there in front of that person when they're watching this at their computer. You're kind of like teleporting there almost. I also think that if you think of it really, communication is the most common way or the most similar thing that we have to telepathy which is that you're communicating your thoughts, your ideas, your intentions, your values, you're communicating that to someone else and then they can understand that in a way. And it's almost a little bit similar to telepathy. So when I talk about this and I think about okay, the different ways of phrasing things that is something that usually doesn't resonate with the average creator and that's because we don't talk about this a lot. Right? So I want to get into this today. Let's deconstruct this in a more step-by-step -step fashion. Let's get really clear about this. Let's get into it now. Okay, so let's go through a couple of different tips. So the first one is that number one, you want to be writing in the active voice. If you are not familiar with what the active voice is, go and check it out. Go and search it up. This is basically a very common mistake I see a lot of people writing in the passive voice versus the active voice when it comes to their campaigns. That's my first tip for you. The second tip that I have for you is that you really want to think about transforming your words from just explaining into copywriting. Okay, so if you're not familiar, copywriting is the science and the art of actually phrasing things in such a way that makes them feel inviting, that makes them seem interesting beyond just you know you saying exactly what you're thinking. The third tip is to focus on the benefits, not just the features. When you're describing your product or service, it's important to highlight the benefits that it provides to potential backers. Don't just focus on the features or specifications of your product, but explain how it will make their life easier or better in some way. For example, if you're launching a new app, instead of just listing the features, describe how the app will save time or help them be more productive. The fourth tip is to use descriptive and emotional language. When you're writing your campaign page, you want to use language that evokes emotion and paints a vivid picture in the reader's mind. Use descriptive words and phrases that help the reader imagine using your product or service. Use emotional language that connects with the reader and makes them feel something. The fifth tip is to keep it simple and concise. While you want to be descriptive and emotive, you also want to keep your writing simple and to the point. Don't use complex sentences or overly technical jargon that might confuse or bore the reader. Keep your paragraphs short and use bullet points to break up long sections of text. The sixth tip is to be authentic and genuine. People are more likely to back a campaign that they feel is authentic and genuine. Don't try to be someone you're not or exaggerate your claims. Be honest and transparent about your product or service, your team, and your goals. Share your story and the inspiration behind your project. Show your passion and enthusiasm for what you're doing. When buying real estate, the information provided can be very boring and uninteresting. However, there are ways to make it more exciting and appealing, such as using words to evoke imagery and feelings. A good pitch should not just explain the logical aspects of the project, but also describe it from an emotional perspective to evoke images and ideas. For instance, instead of saying, I created a device that allows you to set timers and schedule events. Will you fund this for me? It would be better to say, I created an AI assistant for your life. This copywriting style can help people have an emotional response to your campaign. Headlines are more important than the content of your writing, and it's essential to use sub-headlines throughout the campaign page to get people's attention and lead them down the page. Newspapers use sensationalistic headlines to grab people's attention and encourage them to read the story. 
Likewise, headlines for a campaign page should focus on the features and benefits of the product to keep people's curiosity piqued. The reward tiers are an opportunity to employ writing techniques to influence people's purchasing decisions. It's important to include the actual retail price, and depending on the pricing, psychology studies suggest giving a percentage discount or mentioning a dollar amount off that item. The reward tiers should also reiterate the key features and benefits of the product, the materials used, and shipping details. All this information can make people more likely to back the campaign. Fulfillment of rewards can be stressful, but Fulfillright can put product delivery on autopilot, making it a turnkey solution for shipping. This can allow you to focus on growing your business, while the experts take care of the shipping. To communicate the functionality of your product, consider using an image with labels drawing attention to its different features. Think about the font, color, and icons that represent your brand and product appropriately. For images, focus on the captions or headlines that provide context and frame the image, directing attention to the positive aspects of the product. The writing process can be challenging, so it's best to first write everything down and get as much information as possible on the page. This could include product features, benefits, and specifications. Then, sift through the content to identify the most compelling and engaging parts of the campaign. Remember that successful crowdfunding campaigns require a combination of great writing and effective communication of your product's features and benefits. Keep these tips in mind to help you launch a successful campaign. Thanks for watching our video. Please smash the like button now, click share, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss our next episode. Remember, crowdfundingexposure.com is here to help as many people as possible but we receive so many requests every day that we simply cannot accommodate them all. We have a strict 80 orders per day policy to ensure the highest quality for our clients. If you need anything specific for your camping please let us know in the comments below and we'll see what we can find for you. Have a great day remember it's important to click the like, share and subscribe and visit www.crowdfundingexposure.com for exciting daily promos and coupons.